Hello and welcome to my first portal stream here on the channel. Hello you that are watching on YouTube live stream right now. Hello to you who are watching on Twitch live right now. And hello to you who are watching this future video. Yes, I am recording as well to be able to upload these into separate um, episodes as, a, as an actual, actually, actual, great. Let's play series in the future and well, not in the future, but yeah, whenever I can upload them, I will do so like an extra series or as an extra series. And in this let's play, we are basically going to be playing the Portal 1. I have played this game before and I absolutely love it and I hope you will too. I think we should be good. I can see the chat. Everything should be good. Let's go right ahead. As I have, as I just said, I have played this game before, but it's been a while, so I want to play it again. This is seriously one of my favorite games to play. Anyways, I think we will be starting a new game. As you can see, I have unlocked some chapters, but we are going to go ahead with chapter one, of course. Um, I think each stream will be about, I don't know, um, an hour or 40 minutes long, and then I'll separate that into two or three episodes. So let's go ahead. Okay. Okay. Here we come out of our sleeping pod, not knowing what on earth is going on. Anyone else here? Maybe not. Who knows? We'll have to see. Okay, walk forward, back, left, right. I'm doing so. I remember some of the commands, I think. Yeah, E to pick up. Hello and oh. again. Okay. Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Oh, what's going on? Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Somebody help me! <laughs> it does not seem very comfy in this one, and because okay, sounds like it's singing. Kind of does. That's us right there, actually. Okay, so here we go. This is this board where we can see some things about the current level that we are on. I believe there are more than 19 levels because I don't want to spoil anything, but stuff will happen. The camera is following us. Okay. So as you can see, I should probably explain this more. This is portals, the portals part. A portal is opened, as you can see, we can see ourselves. And it's kind of like a teleportation system. And you will get a gun in the future. Alright. Okay. So far, so good. I know I can pick up objects. Oh, there we go. I can pick up objects, and it's basically a puzzle game. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Okay, so if I were to go through with the cube, if I could, um, it would just vaporize. So it's basically just checking me and checking me for um, contraband, one could say. So it's basically a puzzle game where you get a portal gun, and with this portal gun, you um, you go through tests and stuff. Let me know if it's too loud. The ambient sounds. I think it might be a little bit. Here we go. Resume. Okay. So here we see some stuff about this one. Doesn't seem like there's any dangers or anything here. Okay, good. Let's drop down. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. I love that name. <laughs> okay, so basically here a few portals are being opened and the first puzzle is to get through here, get the cube, and get through the portal so right now I can't get through them 
so now I have to wait for the portal to open at the button. Like Perfect. that. Please move quickly to the chamber lock. There we go. As the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. There we go. I am planning to stream this on Saturdays, hopefully, but I'm not promising anything just yet. But that is my plan. Alright. At maybe around 1 pm UTC um, time, but I'm not sure yet. You're doing very well. Thank you. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Okay. Interesting. But this is a pole gun, basically. What happens if I stand in the way of it? Nothing. Very good. There we go. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. That's perfect. So as you can see, when I move it on these white surfaces, the indicator lights blue. And when it is not, when it's on that, for example, it cannot create a portal. So right now I can only make blue portals, but I can also make them wherever I want. Almost. So I can make it there, for example, and go through the floor. floor. Which is cool. And when passing through this, it just... Um, it just basically sets it to the default state. Alright. Let me just turn down my volume a bit here, because for me it is a bit loud. Okay. Here we go. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Okay. Yeah, so here we're being uh, getting getting tested because we can't really jump off from there, but we can make a portal over there. So, oh, there we are. Hello. Oh, it's actually not registering everything that we're doing. <laughs> uh, some of it, but not all of it. Pretty cool though. Okay. So there's a puzzle right there, so how do we how do we get over there? I can make a portal up there, but you can shoot on that wall, so you know what, let's make it interesting. Ooh. That's well, so cool. Uh, remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. <laughs> okay then. Sounds interesting. Level four. four. You're doing quite well. Thank you. Okay, so we can stand on this as well, but obviously it is not being kept pressed down. So, oh look at that! Where's orange portal there? Um, oh man, I'll do something funny. Pick it up, touch us through. <laughs> there we go. That's just funny. Again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Yay. Great. <laughs> the puzzles will get way more complicated than this, which will make it a lot more interesting, obviously. Alright. Doing pretty good. I can't see how many people are actually watching on the different platforms. But I'll check every once in a while. I'll hold a little break at around 20 minutes each time just for my recording to stop and then 
do it again just so I can uh, easily edit it and yeah that's pretty cool all right okay so what on earth is going on here um let me just move my chair a bit yep okay um so we have but we have an orange portal there we have two buttons we have a box up there and we have a box there just like that and let's play it dangerously there we go and up oh, see now I, wait how do i get up there first you have to go through there watch out <laughs> There we go. And there you go. Wonderful. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement um, suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. <laughs> Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Yeah, you, yeah. S sounds like some strange things are happening. All right. As you can see, you can't shoot on the material grass and glass, nor on this glass right there. All right. Doing pretty good so far. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Okay. Oh, now things are getting interesting. Watch out for the... While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the yeah. Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please yeah. be careful. Yeah, you die if you touch that, basically. But basically you have to get the energy cube into this one, so I suggest standing in here, shooting up, maybe watch out. There we go. You. Subject name here. Must be the prior. Subject <laughs> compound here. <laughs> um, yeah. So it basically gets unleashed, it bounces, it bounces again, bounces, and until the energy disappears, and then it ends up down here. Alright. As you can see, there's no way of actually making a portal up here. So you have to use the lift. These are kind of the starting levels. It will get, as I said, way more difficult. Okay, I think we're advancing to level, what was it? I think we're at level 6 or 7. Let's see what happens. 6 or 7. I honestly don't remember. Um, Warning devices are required seven. on okay. all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate mm. a high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Okay. As long as it's for my safety and keeping me alive, I'm fine with it. Um, okay, so it bounces off there. We need to get it up there and then. We need to time it right, okay. So shoot a portal there, that'll lead it up to there. And activating the lift. Good. Now use the aperture science on okay. stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. The oh, wire's actually moving, that's pretty creepy. And then put it right about there. And when the platform is below me, I'll jump. And hopefully not die. There we go. Awesome. And we should be good. There's a Portal 2 game as well, which I am looking forward to play. Hopefully when we have played the Portal 1 game. But let's just take it one step at a time. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Again, don't worry if you've missed the stream, I will be uploading this as separate videos in the Let's Play series as well. Alright. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with yeah. the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Yeah. This is basically poisonous and if you fall in it, you die. So, okay, so... Yeah, I have to think on this one. It gets let out, goes there, 
Okay, I know what to do. Open the portal there. It goes through there. What's this have passed? We shoot the portal there. Nope, there. And then over there. To time it perfectly. <laughs> then what you gotta do is to get over here, open the portal there, and hopefully... Oh! Can we actually see more than one person in there? No, only one. Okay, it is an okay old game, pretty old game. I think it's from, oh dear, 2007 or something. I think, I might be wrong on that one. I forgot. And then go over. <laughs> uh, help. The weird thing is, though, there's no people there. It's only an AI talking, it seems. I'll try Very not to spoil stuff. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Great. Perfect, I'm so happy. <laughs> Alright, but I think this will wrap up wrap up the first 20 minutes, just about for the first episode, I should say, with a bit of editing, but it's fine. Um yeah, I will not end the live stream yet, don't worry. I'll just pause real quick while in the elevator. So if you are watching this as a video, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you're watching from Twitch right now, be sure to follow me. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to leave a like on the screen. Leave a comment if you're watching this after. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're watching this right now, be sure to do it now as it should come on screen. I hope it will if Streamlabs doesn't mess up. But um, yeah, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next episode. Have a nice day.